And it's unfortunate that, that Terrell's been the casualty of this. It's not all his fault. It's my fault. Anytime something happens wrong around this building, it's my fault, and I accept that. We have an opportunity to still control what we can control. Um, we're still right in the mix of everything. And if we fix it now, you know, we can do what we want to do. We had to make a change. Everybody in this building is responsible for that change. We're all part of it. So don't think, you know, the first thing you do is change coaches. Next thing you do is change players. So ultimately, you know, people look at them as well. Well, they're going to be looking at Marvin Lewis because he is the man in the crosshairs now calling the defensive play, setting up the defensive game plan. So it is all on Marvin, Marvin on that side of the ball, and we'll see if he can make a difference. Last year, the Bengals fired their offensive coordinator after game two. It made a little bit of a difference. The offense still struggled at times last year, and it wasn't enough to push the Bengals into the playoffs. We'll see if they get it right this time. Reporting live from Paul Brown Stadium, I'm George Vogel, WLWT News 5 Sports. All right, George, Bengals fans, feel they have seen this movie and they feel like they know what's coming next. The Hugh Jackson question was asked today again. A former Bengals assistant recently fired as head coach of the Browns. What did Marvin say about the possibility of Hugh helping out? He totally dodged it. He didn't say yes. He didn't say no. He just wanted to move on from that. And there's no doubt Hugh is coveted by people in this building here at Paul Brown Stadium, but He's been more of an offensive guy. He could come up and uh, come in and help some. I mean, he coached the Cleveland Browns. The Bengals have to play them twice down the stretch, but therein lies the issue. He's still being paid by the Browns, even though he's not coaching them. So there's all kinds of contractual stuff that could hold this up. And uh, also just the fact that here comes Hugh Jackson. And if Marvin's on the hot seat, is Marvin looking over his shoulder at one of his buddies? So. I don't know that that will happen. It could, but I think it's less likely than maybe I thought until I heard about these contractual issues, Mike. In our business, often no comment means yes. We'll have to see if that's the case here. George Vogel live at Paul Brown talking about those Bengals. Thank